margins will come under pressure for specific, you know, certain companies. Some companies are passing through uh, costs. You know, we're, we're seeing that margins have been maintained for the most part this quarter in, in many places. But look, I think this is the important part, and maybe this is where I'm differing. Um, I, I think that uh, the Fed, most central banks, you've got to trust them in this case. They're still, I know this sounds crazy, they're still worried about the other side of this, about the potential for deflation or at least disinflation as we go through the, this part of the cycle into next year, when all of this footing inventory hits the shores at exactly the wrong time as we get past holiday seasons. Um, this is what I think we um, are, need to kind of look past and get focused on. Today was a day where we had this lineup of a, a, a record inflation print for a while, plus um, a bond auction that went a little rough. And um, you know that caused some concern. But to be honest, I, I like days like this. I think that the one place that has been tough to be is short rates, especially um, uh, longer rates and, and I, uh, the longer end of the curve. I think we're going to continue to see that central banks are not going to cave in on this uh, on this position, and they're going to wait it out for a while. Um, and, and this is a, uh, a a transitory event. And, and maybe to put it this way. How many people think they're going to get a 6% raise cost of living adjustment at the end of this year? Um, I, I sure don't. And I think that that's the, I don't mean that we're going to not see this shift high prices, but that continued acceleration that will continue to eat away at margins, I, I don't see it. Can I push back on that, Dan? Are our earnings really that Please. great when you have Apple, Amazon and Disney, all of them? not immune to uh, the rising cost ba base and uh, supply chain challenges. Isn't all of this going to, at some point, force a re-rating in market pricing? Well, we're seeing it a bit. But look, I think this is a very important point. This is all tied to the same thing. We have built this economy over the past 10 years since the uh, global financial crisis, which is this uh, very, uh, this, this economy that relies on synchronization, global synchronization around the world. and we're out of sync, completely out of sync at this point, and we feel it. And people are extrapolating out this sort of out of sync, out of sync phase into what's going to happen in the future. What is likely to happen is that we come back more into phase, and that um, you know we start to work through some of these side issues in much better ways. So yes, right now we're we're experiencing some of these shortages. It's not a lack of demand. Um, it is a uh, rising costs in, in labor shortages and things that we are going to work with as we come out of this pandemic. And I think analysts and companies will both see that as um, temporary impairment, not long-term challenge to earnings.